move over here to Chase, and he's doing something amazing. I was in disbelief the first time I heard what Chase was working on. He's actually making socks made out of recycled plastic. So I want to reach out to you and have you tell the community about what you're making. And first of all, how did you get started and where was the idea that came? <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm going to be really creepy and hold up this prosthetic <laughs> and, and rub it to show you how absolutely soft this sock is, because it really is, and it's I can't so believe it. It's so soft. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, well, actually, it started five years ago uh, when my sister was in high school and I was in my freshman year of college. Um, <laughs> we realized there was just a lack of passion in society and we come from an entrepreneurial family and we just didn't, we're bored with typical corporate culture and just what it was about and this was about the time when Zappos and Tom Shoes was getting big and, mm -hmm. and or were getting big and we wanted to start learning more about social enterprise and create ideas right. around social enterprise, you know, about activism and giving back and around causes and so kind of fast forwarding right. <laughs> kind of fast forwarding uh, to now, uh, in March we had just a wild idea to create socks because they're fun, right. but we wanted to change the whole sock game. We wanted to say, how can we make fun socks that matter? And uh, essentially that's what this is right here, it's a cloud group project. Our whole goal is to, uh, well our mission statement is to do the impossible by inspiring a community collaboration, culture, creativity, and social responsibility. And so this sock is a, is a great symbol of that. Uh, we met uh, Orly Waba with, with Life Vest Inside at a Catalyst Creative Week here. Right. And uh, she's doing something on November 9th called World Kindness Day. Okay. And there's over 70 countries that are now involved. That's and we're awesome. the official sock. And we're actually gonna do the shirts as well. And it's 100% made out of recycled, uh, made out of 100% recycled plastic. So I can't even wrap my head around that. So I wanna ask you more about the process of turning plastic into a sock. I asked you earlier, are you just grabbing plastic bottles from your friends <laughs> after late night parties? You said no, so let us know a little bit more about the process and getting that made. Absolutely. So we do definitely have plans in the future to create uh, local uh, recycling facilities to where we can use that plastic and then we want to we help communities be more sustainable. Right. So take that plastic, ship it to our facility, and then bring clothes back to our community, and whether you give it to the homeless or figure out cool creative ways to give it to nonprofits, mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, but essentially right now what's happening is there's a facility out in North Carolina that takes all the bottles, they turn them into flakes, they turn them into little tracer balls, right. and then they turn it into a thread, it gets woven into a fabric, this fabric right here, it's 100% awesome. recycled polyester. So it's a polyester blend uh, material. And so uh, the tracer balls are really cool because we actually tell you how much plastic is in, how many plastic bottles are in that sock. So we say, yeah. oh, it's two and a half plastic bottles in that sock, or there's three plastic right. bottles in that sock. So that's kind of how we measure it is by bottles, essentially. Uh, so that's that. And uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely excited. And our whole goal is to just you know inspire community culture and creativity uh, through our socks. And so we have another sock that we're doing with a band from Massachusetts called Transit. Uh -huh. And so it's to help them stay on tour and uh, you know to continue maintain their funds so they can continue to stay on tour and spreading their positive music. And we're also doing another one that's called a literacy sock, which is to encourage little kids to read. So all of our socks have meaning and symbols behind them and great stories that go with them. So that's cool. That's so awesome. And when you get more made, I'm totally going to support them all day, every day. Um, because I use plastic, so sorry. But that is an awesome project, and I'm so glad that you brought that to downtown community. I really think that you fit in with our culture of wanting to be generous and helpful and great to society and everything. So thank you so much, and with that, we're gonna conclude our community segment. Thanks so much.